we're back with another video. Um, lately, I'm sure all of you have noticed that all parts tend to be on back order. Um, we've been telling customers it's due to COVID-19, but it seems a lot of people don't understand what that actually means. You know, COVID lockdowns is a huge, huge part of why um, everything is delayed right now um, and why everything is taking three, four months to get. Um, let me uh, go through a couple articles here with you. Um, let me start with the first one. Um, here's one from Business Insider. This was actually posted five hours ago. It says, cargo ships anchored near West Coast ports could face a four week delay to dock, raising further fears over the global supply chain. So, there's, from last um, research that I did, there's over 60 cargo ships right now just floating in the middle of the ocean waiting to dock at the port. Now, not only are they having issues with clearing the containers that are already in port, they can't even get, there's, you know, basically ships out there at sea with their anchors down for weeks on end right now, waiting for a spot to open up so they could start unloading their containers. Um, here's another one. Here's another article. California ports aren't the only ones facing record backlogs of cargo ships. Three other US ports have hit historic highs. Another one. Backlog of cargo ships at Port of LA reaches boiling point. So, I mean, that's where it is, folks. Right now, all the parts that are being made overseas that are coming over here by containers are pretty much backed up because they can't unload the containers. Um, so a lot of times we would get ETAs like, oh, okay, this item is um, expected to ship around middle of September. And then middle of September comes around and then we get a new ETA that says middle of October. That happens because they were expecting the cargo ship to arrive um, unload and get to the actual manufacturer or the distributor um, on a certain day but that ship is in line waiting to be docked uh, from the ships from the previous months that just been sitting there so right now it's really really hard to get parts the reason for the ports being so slow are two things um, with the economic stimulus packages, the sales just went through the roof. So everybody was started buying parts. So the, the demand went up, but the supply actually did it because of the COVID shutdowns, both in China, um, in the US, basically everywhere in the world, the supplies dried up super quickly. And now with COVID restrictions in place, such as you know cleaning some things in between, um, unloading, of the port uh, of the containers at port and things like that are actually slowing things down even more so that's why there's such a huge backlog um, when it comes to the containers right now now let's move on to something that you've all have noticed lately as well not only for the delays but the pricing of all parts have gone up um, we're looking at 10 to 20 percent increases almost across the board when it comes to parts um, the reason being is the um, the costs. The costs to build these products are now going up. Globally, there is inflation. So U.S. isn't the only country to give away free money or stimulus um, to try to get the economy going while everything was shut down. Overall monetary value of the dollar or yen or whatever it may be um, have gone down. And because of the lack of the supplies and increase in demand, the actual raw material costs have gone up. Um, in order to hire people back to start making parts have gone up. So across the board, everything has gone up. So it all trickles down and at the end of the day, the parts prices have gone up. Again, all due to COVID-19. Um, it, is, it is a ripple effect. It starts with you know that one drop and it ripples out and now we're experiencing higher prices we're expecting super late delays on shipping we're ex 
experiencing super late delays on manufacturing. Um, so like here's a uh, article from Wall Street Journal. Chinese factories delay new orders as costs rise, risking global supply shortages. Now this doesn't even pertain to just car parts. This pertains to a lot of different parts of, um, of the economy and of manufacturing because a lot of things are made in China, period. Um, and then to add to that, here's another article. Um, Chinese ports choke over zero tolerance COVID-19 policy. So with most of our parts may being made over in China and their ports basically choking as in, you know, things are not moving out fast enough because they have to go through new steps, new um, cleaning processes, new COVID-19 processes they have to do in order to clear the item out to sea. Um, it's taking forever. But, I mean, right now, that's the time we live in. I know everyone got used to getting their parts within a couple days, um, maybe even the next day through Amazon before, but that simply isn't the case anymore. It's it's really, really hard to get decent parts on time because the demand is there, but the supply just is very limiting and the delays within, within shipping is ridiculously long right now. Um, I think in the past two weeks or so, all of our FedEx packages, literally every single one of them has some type of delay going to the customer. Um, and that's just within the U.S. That's not even international shipping. So you can imagine how international it can be when domestic shipping is delaying left and right like that. So um, again, I ask for your patience. Um, I understand you paid good money for your products, but understand that this delay is on a global scale. It's not just you know few vendors. It's not just few manufacturers that's experiencing this. Um, even manufacturers that manufacture things here in the States, um, they still have to get their raw materials and the raw materials just is not showing up on time. You know, we're just given ETAs that gets pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. So I just want to make this quick video to let you know what is happening um, so that you may understand um, with all the delays that's happening that it's not really under our control or anybody's control, in fact. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to wrap up the video today. It's, I guess, in a way, a pretty sad news that everything is delayed, but we'll make it through this all together one day, right? All right.